I'm John Moss to Media Associates International. We're looking at servanthood and the Christian editor, how in effect the editor serves four masters, the publisher, the writer, the reader, and the Lord. Last week we looked at how the editor serves the publisher. Today we'll see how the editor serves the writer. And it's in perhaps this relationship the, the editor's servant role is most clearly seen. So how do you, the editor, serve the writer? Here are three ways. First, treat the writer as a person, not a product. Look for the writer's unique potential in areas of gifting, not just words on a page. You won't teach talent per se, but identify the talent already in the writer and help fan it into a flame. Your time's limited, but make yourself available to the writer to listen, to ask questions, to encourage, to challenge. You'll build a relationship of respect and trust so that the writer understands that you have his or her best interests at heart. Sometimes the servant editor is like a Barnabas, who alone saw the potential in young John Mark, standing by him in his failures, nurturing him along the way until one day John Mark would write one of our four gospels and most likely help Peter write his two epistles. Second, an editor serves the writer by helping that writer look good. That is your mission. You're caring for a property that belongs to someone else, the writer. And as a steward, you want this property or this manuscript to be excellent for the writer's sake. You model excellence in your editing and you urge and inspire the writer to pursue excellence as well. The writer will gain confidence in knowing that in your editing, you have no hidden agenda or access to grind. In your editing, you preserve the author's unique voice, resisting the temptation to impose your own, again remembering this manuscript is the author's and not yours. Finally, you as a servant editor help the writer to grow. You know how to edit manuscripts and you could do it all yourself, but you involve the writer in the process. In areas of the manuscript where there are issues, you insert a question or a comment such as, what are you trying to say here? Or is there a fresher way that you can say this? Or can you think of an example to support your point? Or can you show me this incident in your story? In the process of involving the writer, with each passing book and article, that writer will gain additional skill for clear writing and compelling writing. You also help the writer grow by connecting him or her with other writers for mutual support and accountability and encouragement. You point the writer to resources, to blogs, to websites, to books in the author's area of interest. You send that occasional note, make that call. And after the writer completes a book or a manuscript, you ask, hey, have you started thinking about your next one yet? The relationship between editor and writer can be a wonderful thing, fulfilling to both. I believe it's best captured by a statement that I once heard years ago from Tyndale House editorial director, Dan Elliott, who said, at Tyndale, we publish people, not manuscripts. Can you tell the difference? We'll see you next week when we talk about how the editor serves the reader. <laughs>